Greetings! In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Geographic Imager from Avenza along with LizardTech GeoExpress software to create high quality compressed imagery um, through the Avenza Geographic Inter Imager interface. Um, Avenza uh, has a really great integration um, using our GeoExpress command line tools that come with every uh, copy of GeoExpress. And that integration allows you to be able to call on those command line tools from within Geographic Imager, create Mr. Sid images, and just have them come right into your uh, Geographic Imager interface. Uh, Geographic Imager is a, is a great tool to um, create, edit, manipulate geospatial uh, data, especially raster data and, and elevation rasters. Um, it's built as an extension to Photoshop, so it leverages all these other great Photoshop tools as well. So I'm going to get started. Um, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to my extensions in Photoshop and open up Geographic Imager. Um, again, it, it works like a, a Photoshop extension, so anyone who has experience with Photoshop, um, it, it's very easy to use. So I'm going to come over here and I am going to um, bring in an image. So I'm going to open up my advanced import. You can see a number of stuff grayed out here. Um, once I get some images in here, I'm, uh, a lot of this stuff will, will populate. Um, let's see. So I'm going to select browse. So what I want to do is take a number of these uh, GeoTIFF tiles here and create a Mr. Sid mosaic out of them. And now I might not want all of the tiles. Like I want to basically bring them in and then figure out what part, uh, what subset of this mosaic I want to crop out and create a Mr. Sid from. Let's go and go through here. I selected, okay, so you see, now we have the listing of all the data up top. Um, it, it took the first one in the listing, created a reference file from it. Um, that's fine. Um, you can see how it po populated the coordinate system here. Um, I pulled that from the GeoTIFF information. You can see it's a uh, red, green, blue color with four channels. So uh, we've got an alpha channel here. That's fine. That's great. An alpha channel. Um, I'm going to create a Mr. Sid Generation 4 that's going to have an alpha channel anyways. Um, like I said, I want to make a mosaic. So I'm going to come down here, I'm going to select Mosaic All Files for the Destination Document. Now, it really doesn't matter which one of these I choose, because at the end of the day, I'm going to make a Mr. Sid um, subset mosaic, uh, and I'm going to have a chance to rename that to whatever I want. Uh, I tell you what, Events has done a really good job isolating and uh, choosing sort of the optimal default settings to, to make your life easier. So I'm going to leave these... Okay, I'm going to leave these as they are and hit OK. Okay, so Avenza is going to go through here. It's going to bring every image uh, in. So you can see up here, it keeps opening up new images and adding them to the merged mosaic. It kind of turns, turns and burns through all these separate images. In a second here, you're going to see reference file. Oh, okay, here we go, as if on cue. So now... You got that reference file name that's it's been populated. Um, coordinate systems populated, red, green, blue color, 8-bit depth, yada, yada, yada. Um, it's all coming in here. Just give it another second. I'm actually really impressed by how fast Avenza's software works through all this. I've, I've worked with a lot of software um, in my career, and um, this is some of the easy, more, most easiest most easiest, some of the easiest to use, and some of the quickest I've ever worked with. Oh, also, you see up here, now that we've got data coming in, see all these other functions up here are highlighted and uh, have turned on. So I'll give this just another little bit to go. There were a number of images, so I'm not surprised. Um, it's taking a few moments. Okay, and here we go. So this is the mosaic. So it's not... You know, we've got a whole bunch of, of omitted tiles here. I don't have this data. It's the Niagara River. If anybody is uh, not aware, this is Niagara Falls. Um, I really want to 
isolate this area down here. Um, so what I'm going to do, coming over here, so Avenza provides a number of really useful tools um, that you can use to edit and manipulate your data. Um, there's a georeferencing function. Of course, this is already georeferenced, so I don't need to go through it, but that's really, really useful. So you can take data that does not have core reference system and uh, apply core reference system to it. Pretty sweet. Um, you can do a, a, a transform. Let's say I want to transform this to uh, uh, WGS84 or something like that. Um, I can. Um, gives you an idea of pixel size. If I want to, you know, work with the pixels, edit some sort of pixels or something like that, um, I can. This is uh, one foot imagery. This is nape imagery. I'm just going to leave all this as it is. I don't, not really concerned about that. I'm, I really just want to make this uh, mosaic and turn it into a Mr. Sid. Um, some tiling. Uh, schema options so I can you know uh, obviously I can you know change how many tiles I want you know tiling is a big deal if you you know trying to transmit data uh, over the web or um, over low bandwidth or something like that um, being having all these tiling tools um, having these tiling tools is really useful um, there's some terrain shading this is uh, super interesting and I'm really impressed that Invenz has built this into their software. Um, there's a lot of uh, very useful, uh, very quick actually, um, shading tools and shading options rather built into the software. So that that uh, was accomplished in no time. Pretty uh, pretty fantastic. You know. Because this is built on Photoshop, uh, a Photoshop platform, all these other Photoshop tools, you, you can use them um, with your imagery as well, which is, is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and undo this terrain shader because, as awesome as it is, um, that really was just for demonstration. Some other options, I can uh, do some channel management stuff. Maybe I want to. Uh, omit for some reason this alpha channel or I want to change the ordering of the bands or change the visibility of them um, I can do that I want to turn it to grayscale I could do that if I wanted um, I mentioned there are some other tiling options uh, beforehand but this is a great uh, tool for taking your raster data and turning it into uh, web tiles Obviously, for web mapping, this is a must. Uh, very useful here. Mapbox tiles being very popular, I'm sure. Google tiles. And you can also even use this tool to create a geo package to uh, take your Mr. Sid data or your TIFF data and uh, take that offline from a mobile device or whatnot. Okay. With that being said, again, I really, I really just want to go ahead and crop out my data and make a nice, high-quality, compressed Mr. Sid out of it. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use this, I'm going to draw this, a drag and drop, I guess, or drag and drop. I'm going to drag this pointer over and highlight the area that I want. There we go. Perfect. And set OK. Great. It automatically crops out in the workspace, so you get the, you know, the cropped preview here. Okay, so if I want to export data, I go up here to this little sandwich menu, hit the first one, quick, quick save to format. A lot of different formats you can save your data as. I'm most interested, of course, in Mr. Sid because I want to create this high quality compressed data. And what I'm going to do is select OK. Now this is where I get a chance to rename it how I'd like to whatever I want it to be. So I'm going to say uh, Niagara Falls Mosaic. Great. So now what what uh, geographic imager is doing in the background is it's creating it's basically creating the script and making the call to our command line tools uh, to go ahead and um, take this image and make a Mr. Sid out of it. 
Um, it's completely transparent to the user. It's fantastic. It does require having a fully licensed uh, copy of GeoExpress. Um, if you are a user that um, uses a cartridge, it will decrement the cartridge as normal. Um, you just have to have it either licensed on your machine or on the network that you are uh, that your machine is on. So, in other words, it works for both standalone and floating licenses. And that was super fast. Um, it automatically, you know, it, it created that Mr. C, compressed it, cropped it, mosaiced it together, and brought it right back into the events workspace. There it is. So, you might be wondering, however, well, where are my other Geo Express options? Like, for example, how do I know what this is, was compressed to? Or... This is an MG4. What if I wanted an MG3 or an MG2? Well, that's a really good question. What what, Geo, what Avenza does is Avenza, um, in their integration, they look and read whatever your preferences are set as already in your uh, Mr. Sid uh, Jira Express software. So, for example, I have my default output file set as Mr. Sid Generation 4. Thus, Avenza's integration created a Mr. Sid Generation 4. Furthermore, uh, in Mr. Sid Generation 4, I have my default compression ratio for color imagery being 20 to 1. So this file in the background was compressed to 20 to 1. Now, it's up to you to set all these. Anything that you've set in here as far as compression goes for grayscale or color or whether or not you want the default to be generation 4, 3, 2, what have you. Whatever you set this as in here is what Avenza will use when it compresses um, that image to your Mr. Sid. So that's really important to keep in mind. Likewise, if this, again, if this was a, uh, a version that used a cartridge, it will decrement that cartridge um, based upon how big... Uh, the input data was, how big this crop was. So, for example, um, if I bring this back in, let's say I bring this back in this, uh, this Mr. Sid, you can see that the nominal size was 220.9 megabytes. So that's what would be decremented from your cartridge. It was compressed at a 20 to 1, which came out to be 11.1 yep, megabytes. And it's a Mr. Sid Generation 4. And here's the preview. And pretty much the same. Well, there you go. Uh, again, it's a very easy to use integration. I think it's very, uh, uh, you know, very easy to use, very transparent to the user, which is great. You don't have to necessarily come into GeoExpress. You know, convert your uh, your data, compress it in Mr. Sid or what have you, then bring it back into Geographic Imager. Um, you're just able to do all those those things from inside a Geographic Imager. Which, if you're a, a Photoshop user that's using Geographic Imager, or you you know you use Geographic Imager as your primary interface, and you're getting other things done as well, it just you know removes certain steps um, from your from your workflow. Just you know, it makes things a lot uh, you know easier. Hopefully, saves you a lot of time. So I thanks very much. Uh, thank you for tuning in to this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the uh, uh, comments box below. Um, if you have any uh, suggestions for any follow-on videos or anything else that you would like to see us cover, we're always looking for feedback. Uh, we hope this was useful. Uh, I have been uh, Jeff Stewart for Lizard Tech, and I thank you for tuning in. Have a great day.